What does it take to become a legend in the high stakes world of the NHL? Is it the sheer number of goals, the dazzle of on ice skills, or the ability to turn the tide of a game? For Patrick Kane, it was all this and more. A three time Stanley Cup champion, a Conn Smythe trophy winner, an Olympic medalist, and one of the best puck handlers the game has ever seen. So, how good was Prime Patrick Kane actually? The origin of an NHL star often tells us more about their journey than any highlight reel can. For Patrick Kane, it began in the modest neighborhoods of Buffalo, New York. Born into a family where hockey was more than just a game, Kane's childhood revolved around rinks and pucks. By the age of seven, he was already on the ice, his destiny with the puck seemingly preordained. His father, recognizing a special talent, transformed their home basement into a miniature rink, complete with nets and boards. Here, young Kane spent countless hours not just practicing, but living the game. Kane's talent soon became too big for the confines of a basement. His skills on the ice saw him play for the prestigious Honey Baked 16U AAA Hockey Club in Detroit. Under the mentorship of former NHL player Pat Verbeek, Kane's skills flourished and was able to rack up 160 points, including 83 goals in just 70 games. His journey wasn't just about goals and assists, it was about him overcoming challenges, the biggest of which was his size. Scouts often underestimated him due to his stature, but what Kane lacked in size, he more than compensated with skill and determination. After an impressive stint with the United States National Team Development Program, Kane's path to the NHL became clearer. During his record-breaking season with the London Knights of the Ontario Hockey League, Kane was sensational, scoring an astounding 62 goals and providing 83 assists for a total of 145 points in just 58 games. This phenomenal performance not only earned him the M's Family Award as the OHL Rookie of the Year, but also solidified his status as the top prospect, leading to the pivotal moment of his career, the 2007 NHL Entry Draft. This historic pick first time ever the Chicago Blackhawks have had the first pick from the London Knights, the Ontario Hockey League, Patrick Kane. On June 22, 2007, the Chicago Blackhawks, a team yearning for a turnaround, made a decision that would alter their franchise history. At the first overall pick, they chose Patrick Kane. It was more than just a draft selection. It was a statement of intent, a bold declaration that the Blackhawks were ready to rise from the ashes of mediocrity. Kane's rookie season was a spectacle of talent and promise, donning the Blackhawks jersey with the number 88. A nod to his birth year, he took to the NHL stage with a blend of youthful energy and veteran-like poise. In his first season, Kane dazzled fans and stunned opponents, notching up 72 points and clinching the Calder Trophy for the Rookie of the Year. Not only did he lead the NHL in points among rookies that year, Kane's 72 points were the highest by a Blackhawks rookie since the 1992 season. Kane's early days with the Chicago Blackhawks were marked by both excitement and growing pains. While his skills were undeniable, the physical demands of the NHL and the pressure to perform consistently were significant challenges. Despite these obstacles, Kane's resilience and adaptability shone through. He quickly started to refine his play learning to leverage his agility and speed against larger opponents, and adapting his game to the intense pace of the NHL. The 2009-2010 season marked a significant chapter in Patrick Kane's career. It wasn't just another year in the league for him, it was the season where his talents began to fully align with the demands of the NHL. During the regular season, Kane's performance was a showcase of his evolving skills. He racked up an impressive 88 points including 30 goals and 58 assists, a clear indication of his growing dominance on the ice. This performance not only solidified his status as a top player for the Blackhawks, but also as one of the league's emerging stars. His regular season performance were crucial in propelling the teams to the playoffs. But it was in the postseason where Kane truly shined. The Blackhawks, once struggling to make a mark, had now found their stride, and Kane was a central figure in this turnaround. His postseason performance was nothing short of stellar, ending in the most dramatic way possible. 
scoring the Stanley Cup winning goal in overtime. This wasn't just a goal, it was a moment of triumph, both for the Blackhawks and for Kane personally. This victory marked a turning point for the Blackhawks, ending a 49-year Stanley Cup drought and transforming them from a team with potential to champions. For Kane, it was a personal milestone, a testament to how far he had come since his NHL debut. The young player, once facing the pressures of high expectations, had now firmly established himself as a key architect of one of the most memorable seasons in Blackhawks history. Now, here's the crazy part. He was getting even better. Fast forward to the 2013 season, and Kane was dominating again and was able to achieve 55 points in 47 games in a lockout shortened season, continuing his role as the Blackhawks' offensive key player. With this performance, the Blackhawks found themselves in the playoffs yet again. Kane's performance reached new heights. He was not just a scorer, but a playmaker, orchestrating the team's offensive strategies. With nine goals and 10 assists in the playoffs, he was a consistent force, driving the Blackhawks forward. His scoring playmaking earned him the Conn Smythe Trophy as the playoffs' most valuable player. Kane's standout moment, a game-changing hat-trick against the Los Angeles Kings, exemplified his ability to rise to the occasion in high-pressure situations. This was not just scoring, it was Kane making a statement with each goal, each assist. His ability to read the game and find openings where none seemed to exist was on full display. By 2015, Kane's stature as an indispensable asset for the Blackhawks was undeniable. During the playoffs, he racked up a remarkable 23 points, including 11 goals. His scoring was not just frequent, but timely, often turning the tides in games that seemed to be slipping away. One of these 11 goals was a crucial game winner, a moment that underscored Kane's clutch ability. This was a player who not only understood the gravity of each playoff game, but thrived under it. His playmaking and scoring were instrumental in guiding the Blackhawks through each playoff round, cementing their status as a dynasty in the modern era of hockey. Kane's contributions during these golden years were pivotal in defining the Blackhawks as a modern NHL dynasty. His fingerprints were on every aspect of the team's success. With over 1,250 points, three Stanley Cups, and a Conn Smythe to his name, what makes Patrick Kane so dominant? Firstly, as everyone knows, it's the handles. Kane's stick handling is characterized by a blend of technical skill and strategic intelligence. His precise control and quick maneuvers enable him to navigate tightly packed defenses. While his deceptive techniques and creative moves like toe drags and behind the back passes keep opponents guessing, Kane's soft hands allow him to handle hard passes smoothly, crucial skill in maintaining offensive momentum. Even as he's gotten older, his stick handling allows him to maintain his status as one of the league's best players. Patrick Kane's clutch performance is a defining aspect of his career, distinguished by his ability to score vital goals in critical moments, especially during the playoffs. His playoff record is impressive, consistently contributing key points and goals, indicative of his ability to elevate his game when under pressure. Kane's impact on team success is undeniable, often being the driving force behind the Blackhawks' significant victories and championship runs. His resilience, the ability to recover from setbacks within games, and using past failures as fuel for success further solidify his reputation as a player who thrives in a clutch situation. Patrick Kane's scoring abilities is a blend of precise shooting, impeccable positioning, and insightful game reading. His ability to score from various ice positions stem from a combination of quick, accurate shots and a keen sense of being at the right place at the right time. Kane's mastery in reading the game, anticipating puck trajectories, and making rapid decisions significantly improves his goal-scoring effectiveness. Notably adept in one-on-one -on -one situations, he employs deceptive shooting techniques to outwit goalkeepers. His scoring versatility is impressive, which includes wrist shots, slap shots, deflections, and breakaways making him a multifaceted threat and a constant challenge for defenses and goalies in the league. Patrick Kane's career, while marked by remarkable on-ice achievements, has also been shadowed by off-ice controversies and challenges. 
One significant incident that brought Kane into the spotlight for the wrong reasons occurred in 2009, involving an altercation with a taxi driver in Buffalo, New York. Because I put myself in being in the wrong position in the wrong time, I've caused a lot of pain for my family, my hometown of Buffalo, the city of Chicago, the Chicago Blackhawks. In 2015, Kane faced a more serious accusation when he was investigated for alleged sexual assault in his hometown. The allegation garnered widespread media attention and brought intense scrutiny on Kane and the NHL. Ultimately, the charges were dropped due to a lack of evidence, but the incident left a lasting impact on Kane's public image. These controversies underscored the challenges athletes often face in managing fame and personal conduct. For Kane, these incidents were a stark reminder of the responsibilities that come with being a public figure and a professional athlete. The scrutiny and criticism he faced during these times were not just legal and professional challenges, but also personal ones, testing his resilience and ability to stay focused on his sport. In response to these challenges, Kane appeared to make a concerted effort to mature and grow, both on and off the ice. Following these incidents, there was a noticeable shift in his public demeanor and approach to the game. He began to exhibit more leadership qualities and seemed more dedicated to his role as a key player for the Chicago Blackhawks. Kane's journey through these challenges and controversies highlights the complex nature of sports fame and the personal growth that can result from navigating difficult circumstances. While these incidents will always be a part of his story, they also serve as a backdrop to his evolution as a player and a person. Patrick Kane's legacy in the NHL, particularly among American-born players, is both significant and distinguished. When comparing Kane to other great American players, his achievements put him in the upper echelon. Names like Mike Madano, Chris Chelios, and Joe Mullen come to mind, all incredible talents who left indelible marks on the game. Kane's career, however, stands out for its combination of individual accolades, team success, and his influential playing style. With multiple Stanley Cups, a Conn Smythe Trophy, and numerous all-star appearances, Kane has not only matched but in some aspects surpassed the accomplishments of many of his predecessors and contemporaries. In terms of skill and impact, Kane's style of play can be compared to the likes of Madonna known for his speed and scoring ability. However, Kane's puck handling skills and clutch performances, particularly in the playoffs, set him apart. His blend of creativity, scoring ability, and knack for critical goals in key moments has redefined what is expected of an elite forward in the modern NHL. Kane's impact on the Chicago Blackhawks is monumental. He played a pivotal role in transforming the team from a struggling franchise to a modern dynasty. His arrival coincided with the Blackhawks' resurgence, resulting in three Stanley Cup victories. Kane's influence extends beyond just scoring and playmaking. He has been a face of the franchise, a leader in the locker room, and a key figure in popularizing hockey in Chicago and beyond. His tenure with the Blackhawks has not only contributed to the team's success on the ice, but has also helped solidify its legacy as one of the premier franchises in the NHL. Kane's legacy, particularly with the Blackhawks, is marked by a combination of individual brilliance and contribution to team success. In the context of American hockey, he has firmly established himself as one of the greatest, a player who has not only achieved personal success, but has also lifted his team to the highest levels of the sport. As his career progresses, Kane continues to build on a legacy that will undoubtedly place him among the legends of American hockey and the NHL at large. Reflecting on Patrick Kane's career, he stands out as a premier NHL player, especially among American athletes. His journey from first overall draft pick to three-time Stanley Cup champion and Conn Smythe Trophy winner with the Chicago Blackhawks highlights his dedication, skill, and resilience. Kane has been pivotal in transforming the Blackhawks into a modern dynasty and remains a central figure in the league. 
Now, embarking on a new chapter with the Detroit Red Wings, his adaptability and influence continue. Kane's style, marked by exceptional puck handling and scoring, has inspired many, solidifying his multifaceted legacy in hockey. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and remember to subscribe to the channel so you will be the first to know when the next video drops. And remember to share your thoughts about Patrick Kane in the comments below. How do you think he'll do with the Detroit Red Wings? Do you think he'll have the same chemistry he did with the Blackhawks? Or will the new team be his eventual downfall? Well, that's all for now. I'll see you in the next one.